Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm participating in the manga readathon, which is running from July 15th through the 21st. This is day one of the readathon, and I thought I'd go ahead and kind of vlog throughout the week, um, just in terms of like you know following up on what I've read, not my whole day or anything like that, because I will be working. So I'm just going to be discussing each volume as I kind of finish them off. And I've already read one for today, which is So Cute It Hurts by Go Ikiyamata. It features twins. We have um, the sister, Nagumu, and her brother, uh, right there, Mitsuru. Um, Mitsuru is, attends an all-boys school, and his sister attends a co-ed school. He is failing his history class, but his sister happens to be a history nerd, so he convinces her to switch places with him and uh, hopefully help him pass the test. The thing is now she has to dress as a boy and attend an all-boys school. Uh, finds herself sort of falling for one of the boys that she had a run-in with earlier. And uh, he is dressed as a girl at the co-ed school and finds himself attracted to one of the girls there. So awkward situations that they can't truly express their feelings for this other person because they are not themselves. Um, and of course the other person isn't aware of this uh, switch that they're, they're doing. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, the various characters. Pretty decent artwork. Um, some panels have you know, some background detail. In other cases, you just sort of get a lot of this kind of white. Um, so not a lot of detail in the illustrations, but still overall enjoyable for kind of light romantic comedy. I gave this one three stars. The next one I plan on starting is Girl from the Other Side by Nagabi, and I will be back to discuss it when I'm finished. I just finished Girl from the Other Side, Volume 1 by Nagabi. Um, this is sort of a fairy tale type story where you have a world that's divided uh, in two by a great wall. On the outside live these beasts, kind of look like this, who apparently carry some kind of a curse, and if you're touched, you will be cursed as well. And on the inside live the humans who live there in, in safety and peace. Um, they have soldiers that sort of roam around looking to kill off the beast or anyone who they believe may be cursed. Now, we, in the story, we have this little girl named Shiva. For reasons that you'll find out as the story progresses, she's been abandoned in the outside. Um, and teacher this man here uh, has found her and taken her into his home and is looking after her. The relationship is extremely sweet. Uh, he's a bit of a mentor towards her and a bit of a father figure as well. Very concerned about her happiness and her health um, as long as he can to take care of her. Um, but he does insist that she can never touch him or any of the beasts in the outside. Uh, never to roam around without her. But being a young child, she is a bit precocious and curious about what's beyond the house and gets bored easily and wants to kind of roam out in the forest, um, kind of causing some um, scary situations at times. Uh, the illustrations are a bit on the dark side, but it suits the story very well and sets a sort of overall tone to this manga, and I really, really enjoy this one. I can't wait to get to volume two, but I'm going to have to hold off because I have other challenges I have to meet um, during this uh, Margaritathon. So this one I gave five stars overall. So I've knocked two off of my bingo chart. So I'm looking to get bingo by getting these five challenges completed before the end of the readathon. The next book I'll be reading is the one that's a battle manga, and I've chosen Dead Man Wonderland for this. And I will let you know how it goes. Well, I finished Dead Man Wonderland. This is by Jinsei Kotako and Kasuma Kondo. This is volume one. And it's set in a world uh, 10 years after what they call the Great Tokyo Earthquake, where it ended up submerging about 70% of Tokyo underwater. And um, this kind of strange prison of uh, penitentiary has uh, rose up, and it's used for entertainment. Uh, the prisoners are put through all sorts of challenges and things like that for the entertainment of the population and also to help raise money to kind of rebuild Tokyo. Uh, our main character, Ganta, is a middle school student and one day he sees this strange red suited figure floating outside the window of the school um, and he's in a room uh, with all of his friends and stuff and some explosion happens and he's the only one to survive. Uh, everyone else is killed instantly and he is blamed for their deaths. Um, they, they He's kind of nicknamed the Nagano uh, Mass Murderer and sent to this penitentiary as a uh, on death penalty. So he's due to be uh, executed. But again, they, they have all these weird rules and things going on at this prison. Um, it's sort of co-ed. There's uh, female prisoners as well. 
it's just, it's really intri intriguing um, as to the people that are running it, what their their aim is, what this red suited figure is, and their connection with the prison. Um, I liked it a lot. I, I really kind of want to get more into it. I had picked it up because everyone was always talking about it and didn't know much about it, but it was really, really good, and I can't wait to uh, dive into more volumes of this. So, five stars. On to the next one. Okay, so last night, which was uh, day f the end of day five in the manga readathon, I finished off Bakuman volume four, which is by Tsugumi Oba and Takishi Obata, the creators of Death Note. Love Death Note. I do not love Bakuman. This is about some um, students that are trying to be, they're high school students, they're trying to become manga artists. And it's so much about the industry in this that it was boring. I couldn't wait to finish it. Um, the one who wants to be the artist, uh, there's like a, a, two, a duo. Um, one's the artist, one's more the writer. And the artist uh, falls for this girl, she falls for him. But they decide to hold off on their relationship until they are successful in their careers. They're high school students. It's so stupid. They text each other, but if they have to actually converse, they don't know how to talk to each other. But it, that whole aspect of this manga is, is hardly anything. It's mostly about the industry and coming up with a great storyline or something that would be a really great series or a serial to go in Shonen Jump, which is a manga magazine. Uh, they compete in contests um, to give themselves some kind of status to hopefully help push um, editors or publishers to want to um, take them on um, as a series creator, but it's boring as heck. I'm sorry. I gave it like one star. I couldn't wait to finish it. This is only volume four, and I think there's like 12 or more. I don't even look into it because I don't even care at this point. I'm not going to continue with it. Um, so, with the manga readathon, um, we're trying to attempt to reach bingo by, out of all the challenges, to either go a horizontal or vertical or diagonal. So I have one more challenge uh, to try and complete bingo. <laughs> And that's to read a nonfiction manga. So I've started on ETF, but I've only read this much so far. So I have about a day and, and a half, not even a half, <laughs> to uh, read all that. And uh, unfortunately, this isn't one that's probably going to be that exciting to draw me forward. Because again, it's a lot about what happened during the, not during, but after the earthquake in Japan and the cleanup of the Fukushima Daiichi uh, nuclear power plant. And it's told by one of the workers. So, um, so far what I've read is super exciting. It's just a lot of facts thrown at you. I haven't read a lot of uh, during this readathon uh, because I'm also trying to keep up with War and Peace. And also, uh, <laughs> I think about a day to two days worth, I've been working on this um, treasure hunt. 29 items to find within manga. Uh, and I'm down to one last one. I can't find this stupid strawberry in any manga that I have <laughs> or at the store or anywhere. This is something kind of fun to do, but it's also <laughs> annoying. Anyway, so I'm going to go and tackle uh, this, and we'll see if I finish it in time. Okay, so the manga readathon ended last night at midnight. I read till about 11.30, trying to finish up each EF, uh, but I still have about 200 pages left. It just wasn't going to happen. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I, I see it pretty much finishing off as a three-star manga. The artwork is really good. Uh, it gets into a lot of... There's some color photos, or illustrations in there and um, there's some good imagery of like the disaster sites and all the devastation in there. Uh, it's basically a graphic memoir um, of a worker who uh, went to do the cleanup at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Uh, Katsuto Tatsuta is just a pseudonym that he used when he was creating the manga, sort of just to keep his anonymity. Uh, the whole graphic memoir is about his time there. It's not about the disaster itself, but the after effects of it and his desire to kind of partake in doing the cleanup work and also looking for a job, which was pretty scarce around there at that time. Uh, some, I said, pretty good detail work. It does get a bit boring, though. I'll have to tell you a 553 pages worth of information about their day-to-day -day life at the plants and the procedures they have to do to stay safe and the equipment and clothing that they wear and how they put it on and how they take it off and what steps. Um, the rest areas they go to, how long they can work, how much exposure they can have within a, a certain period of time. Uh, I think he was able to... Uh, it kind of covers his like year pretty much um, before he reaches the maximum that you're allowed during that year. 
and then he has to kind of step away. It also covers a little bit of him working on the graphic memoir while he's also um, still working at the plant. So you see a little bit of that as well. Um, and just some of the people he worked with. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it was interesting, but not 553 pages worth. I think it, it could have it could have been half that and gotten the point across as to what they were going through and, and the dangers that they faced and uh, everything they had to do just to stay safe. Um, and I wish them all luck because I think that cleanup is still sort of kind of going on. Um, but yeah, uh, very brave to tackle um, that job. I just can't imagine. Um, I mean, there's this one worker that you, that, that he's a new worker when he's, they're taking him through the steps to go um, on the cleanup and stuff. And after the, during the first day, he starts to complain of his head hurting and they take him back to the rest area and then he takes his mask off and he instantly feels fine. He's like, why do I feel fine? I don't feel any pain anymore in my head. And they have to point out the fact that you must be nervous your first day or whatever because what generally happens is everybody tightens their mask so tight and everything to keep the seal um, that he squeezed his head that was causing the pain. Um, some things you just sometimes almost had to laugh at, but understandable. Uh, um, that's like some of the people that he worked with. Um, yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's interesting, but not 553 pages worth. So overall, about a three star. So that kind of wraps up um, my reading. I didn't get a lot of reading done. Four full manga and about three quarters of another one. I would have liked to have read more, but I was sort of you know, still working and uh, being restricted sort of to um, the challenges of the bingo sheet here, trying to complete bingo, which of course I failed since I didn't finish that one. I think next time uh, if I do this uh, readathon, I'll just focus on reading what I want because I, I kind of wanted to read a second volume of this one and a second volume of that one rather than trying to f you know read ones that fit these categories uh, when I was, wasn't in the mood for those at the time. Um, I did enjoy the treasure hunt that was pretty fun. There was a 29 or was it 30? 30 total um, things to find within a manga and I managed to get all but one which was the elusive strawberry. So um, I came up with my sort of own solution for the strawberry in manga. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, yeah, I did enjoy uh, the readathon overall. I just, like I said, I think next time I will focus more on the reading and less on some of the other uh, distracting things. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this wrap up and I will see you next time. Bye bye.